Welcome to our lecture online. Our next set gives us again another way of looking at finding the domain for what these are probably uh, our functions. Well, we can't assume that they're function until we draw them because we should do a vertical line test. So we'll, we'll not say if they're functions or relations. We'll leave that for some other time. But here we're trying to find the domain of these three expressions. So what do we do? Well, they all have denominators. So definitely we want to look at each denominator and find the values that x cannot be, which would then make the denominator zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to take each denominator and set it equal to zero and find the values of x that make it equal to zero and then make those the prohibited values. So here we're going to say that x minus one times two x plus five will set it equal to zero. Now that we do that, we have a product that's equal to zero, which means that either x minus 1 equals 0 or 2x plus 5 equals 0. So in this case, x is equal to 1 makes the denominator 0. In this case, we have 2x is equal to negative 5 or x equals negative 5 over 2. So these are the two values that x cannot be. So in other words, x should not equal 1 and x should not equal negative 5 over 2. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm out of room here, so let me move this one over here. So now that we've established all the values that x cannot be, so now we're ready to write the expression indicating the domain. For our first example, the domain is equal to the set, that's a, not a very nice symbol here, there we go, the set of all x's such that x is not equal to 1 and x is not equal to minus 5 over 2. So those two conditions must be true. x cannot equal 1 and x cannot equal negative 5 over 2, but x can be everything else. Here we have the same thing. We can say that we set x minus 2 times 2x minus 6 equal to 0 because that is now we find the values that x cannot be. So that means that x minus 2 equals 0 or 2x minus 6 equals 0. So on this side, we get x is equal to 2. Of course, that's what x cannot be. That's the prohibited value. Or we have 2x is equal to a positive 6. That means that x equals 3. And again, those are the prohibited values, which means that x should not equal 2 uh, and x should not equal 3, so those are the two values that x cannot be, which will make the denominator equal to 0. So therefore the domain is such, is the set of all x's such that x cannot equal the value 2 and x cannot equal the value 3. And those are the only two restrictions, x can be any other value. And here we have something interesting, we have a binomial, but it looks like we need to factor this one first. So let's go ahead and factor this one. So this can be written as y is equal to x divided by, this is 1 plus x times 1 minus x. So once we write it in factored form, we can then clearly see that x should not equal 1 and x should not equal negative 1. So x should not equal 1 and x should not equal negative 1. That can be clearly seen by just looking at that. It's simple, if x equals 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, so x cannot equal 1. If x is negative 1, 1 plus a negative 1 is 0, so that makes either one of those makes the denominator 0. That means that the domain is equal to the set of all x's such that x is not equal to 1 and x is not equal to negative 1. And there you go. That is how we find the domain in these particular, in these particular cases. And that is how it's done.